Hello, you're watching an SEO Content Machine Next tutorial video. Today I'm going to cover the Keyword Combiner and the tool is on the left hand side. Click on the Keyword Combiner link and it brings you to the Keyword Combiner UI. What this tool does is it will take keywords and then multiply them by another keyword with another keyword. And you control this with the keyword string and your results appear at the bottom here. So for example, let's try A, B, C for our keyword. Then we want to multiply this by, let's say, some arbitrary data, uh, one, and then we go one more across, and let's say we want this to be a symbol. So if I leave everything at its default and press the combine button, we get A1, B1, C1. So what this means it's doing is taking all these keywords, then for each one it's adding the data, then it's adding data to, and it's controlled by this keyword string. So if I add a couple more variations to the end, and I click the combine button, you see I'll get many more combinations at the bottom here. So a practical application of this would be if you had a keyword such as dog training, and you wanted actually your keyword to be used across many geographical regions, so maybe you had one for the USA, China, Russia, and for each of those particular searches you wanted to combine it with a keyword such as website, coupon, discount. Now if you had these keywords and this data separately, you could of course combine these manually, but if you have a very large list, then it's obviously a lot easier to use the keyword combiner. So if I press combine, I'm going to have uh, my keywords uh, ready for me to be used. So I'll have dog training, USA website, coupon, etc, etc. Now this is customizable, so maybe you only need just the data value. So if I click combine, I'm just going to get the data value. Of course, I'm going to get duplicates. So I'm going to remove data too, because I don't know, not longer using it anymore. Press combine, and I just have my three keywords. Uh, let's restore everything. So another way you could use it is if, for example, you know you wanted to pass these searches into Google, maybe in an operator such as in URL, or maybe for your keyword you need a specific section to be in double quotes. So if I click combine, I'm going to have everything set up for me like this. Now you notice sometimes you'll get a blank, which normally means that you have a blank line somewhere in the data. So if I clear that, and press combine once more, I'm going to get all my keywords. Now all I need to do is select it and just press copy and I can use it as required. 